Hello everyone, welcome to Odia Engineer and today I will be discussing on a non-technical topic of course that my LinkedIn my LinkedIn that I will be discussing on the salary structure second thing the skills which you require to make a good switch to a right company and how to identify the right company for your skill and for <coughs> for your you know career and all and then how to negotiate on the salary with your HR so that you will be fetching a good amount of salary based on your skills and last but not the least what are the mandatory skills that you should have you know to sustain in basis and also the most important and most uh, you know discussed in linkedin question that is your one of the one of the questions i got it from most of the most of you that is basis is going to date and if we are going to lose our job because basis is completely automated and all so i will be also discussing in that so i hope you like this video okay so now quickly move to this uh, you know the experience and details so i just categorically you know divided the basis area into four segments mostly i consider the people who are into the technical domains and who are having the hands-on experience i'm not considering those people who are just managing the people either you are a team lead or a manager or whatever it is okay so this video is only for the technical people who are still touching the system who are still working on the linux who are still doing this activity migration upgrades and all the things that is there in sap basis and hana or in any other database administration as well so <coughs> categorically i have divided to 0 to 2 years and 3 to 5 years and 5 to 8 years and 8 plus years till 15 years because 15 years is quite distant experience and i don't you know i just my perception is like that you cannot work all the time you know like an engineer all the time so after 15 years if you are completely enough experience and all you should look for other path as well so we'll discuss it on a separate video not at this moment so I'll start with 0 to 2 years. So 0 to 2 years means you were completely fresher, you had just started a career, uh, so you just gone to the training and all and you just joined the organization. So in that case your salary ranges are like you know almost you can say when you're fresher is nearly in India it is fixed like 4 lakhs, I mean four we can get that much not more than that like 400k or 500k maximum 5 lakhs or, and some companies also they offer 6 lakhs around. I'm talking about the services companies not the product companies okay so you are a mang or you are a, you know like somebody who is into the mang or fang followers or who knows a bigger companies offer good salary so don't debate on that so second thing this salary then suppose you are in two to zero to two years of experience you want to make a first switch so in that case what will happen the first thing is you should look for the right scale you should have and also they have a very good chance to double your salary so suppose if you are just having two years of experience you want to make a switch i assure you you can get 100 percent of hike if you go for the right companies okay so now we will be going for the salary ranges so salary ranges for 0 to 2 years it can go up to 10 lakhs based on your skills and 0 to 2 years you will be focusing primarily on the kernel upgrades or support pack normal day to day troubleshooting you know and mostly you will be working in the support environment so there your uh, troubleshooting skill is okay I mean you can show a little bit of troubleshooting skills but your activeness your agility towards the work and also how you develop your skills and how you utilize the skills and how quickly you get the things done in your environment so based on that you will be judged not based on how critical troubleshooting you are doing so nobody nobody cares because you are fresher so in in everywhere it happens so not just one organization in all the organizations it happens the same except you join some very small or you know medium organizations so they take care of the employee like from day one they consider everyone in the same scale okay so the suitable organizations for you know we'll just take you through that so just give me a second okay so the suitable organizations there are there is a company called infrabit which is based out of pune you can look for that option you can also go on, go for the control c control s or cloud 4c services for freshers they have plethora of opportunities and second thing is your you can also try for you know the small small organizations which is present in your pune or in mumbai also you have proterra you have infodart you have you know like bristlecon multiple companies where you get a lot of exposure and if you are MNC fan, you want to join TCS, Infosys, IBM and all, then you can also go for that with the limited salary. Okay, but your standard salary would be fixed. That would be maximum. It can go up to 30K. But once you make a switch, I mean, then you can expect 40 to 45K within two years of experience. But, you know, and if you are getting, you know, like at least 10 lakhs of salary, you can deduct some taxes and all. So it would be nearly, uh, you know, that is in your hand. That is for sure. Okay, so two to 2.5 years experience you can expect that much of salary when but the skill set should be there you should know how to do the system refresh the basics you should know the troubleshooting you should know the linux skills you should have this kernel job monitoring and troubleshooting also it's just not the following the t code and doing the monitoring 
so now coming back to three to five years ex experience so in three to five years this is the very critical phase of your life where you actually set up your career same thing goes me when i uh, was working you know with uh, till two years experience i had no idea on basis and i know what is going on even in my organization so i face a lot so that is fine but uh, in three to five years experience you just you get a very nice chance to upgrade yourself you know you can read multiple documents you can have the curiosity to mo know more and more so mandatory skills should be at least two database knowledge it could be my hana is mandatory second thing any other uh, an auxiliary database that you you can have for oracle db2 max db or cybis max db is very you know like easy database so you, you should keep max db aside it's okay that is that you can learn but apart from that oracle or db2 at least you should know one of the database or cybis and then along with your hana second system refresh independently should have you should be able to do that independently end to end you should have a clear strategy on backup strategy you should have clear mindset how to use the point in time recovery how to use the encrypted backups in hana so there are multiple situations that you should know on how to apply the logs and how to optimize your you know rp on rt your concept should be concept should be clear in your mind otherwise it's not going to help you second uh, your sps upgrade you know your support pack upgrade that is mandatory you should have that because you will be getting a lot of work for the support pack upgrade or in hana is for hana you can say for the s4 hana your feature pack support aps support or for a fiori you should know how to do the fes upgrade and also you should have a little bit of idea on the so upgrade troubleshooting so the salary ranges it is nearly 2.5x guys always so if you are into a uh, but it is also it can be also three okay so it's not like you can ask nearly you know 10 11 lakhs that is the basic in three years experience easily you will get a nine to ten lakhs if you're not getting it then you are underwhelming yourself or you had you don't have the right skills you need to upgrade yourself so easily you'll get nine ten lakhs and after that but in maximum range you can expect till 15 lakhs okay so easily you can get 15 16 lakhs with five years of experience in india at least and because my suggestion is if you are getting lesser salary than that then just upgrade yourself don't uh, complain just learn the things and you can make a switch okay and the suitable organizations at this point of time three to five years experience don't settle down in mnc my suggestion is if you're working in enforcers tcs ibm or accenture so the work culture is okay i mean they are very good established company they have a huge revenue and all but the problem here would be the <clears throat> you know the skills that you will be learning there because mostly in the bigger projects they have 20 30 people if you suppose you are getting a system refresh so senior most person will be doing it and also maybe some middle men you know medium level skilled person or somebody who is in the you know five six year experience they will be doing it why they will trust you so for that reason if you join the small organizations so you have a scarce you know you have a like you know kind of a scary environment not scary but you have a challenging environment that okay limit people hundred of people are there so people know you and your manager can easily reach out to you if you do any blunder so you have that pressure so take that pressure that will help you to learn you cannot learn until and unless you implement it otherwise the same story goes on you spend 10 years of experience in SAP basis without any value okay so you can just try for some small organization the same companies which i've given and also i will be making a list of those companies and i will be sharing you know maybe in instagram or maybe i will send in linkedin in our ODI engineer official page so there you can have a guide for that so next is your five to eight years, eight years of experience so here people are called as senior consultants or you know super senior consultants or who are active contributors next to your manager so manager uh, really depends on these people so in this case you should know the s4 hana conversion upgrade fury upgrades also you should have the core osdb migration skills not, not just to run the swpm and take the export and import it no not just the parallel export not just the cloud triggering not just the cloud migration you should have that approach you should have that approach how you plan the migrations with the minimum downtime so the downtime optimization second thing is your giving the strategy based on the resource availability so those things are very important and you should have that concrete idea that from the scratch what are the users required <coughs> for the migration how the how will i set up the you know sharing mount points or the nfs mount points where the export file will be dumped so second thing how i will be running and how i'm going to do a table splitting and what are the table size would be excluding so all these things are very important for your migration strategy so as a consultant in this level you should be completely strong in my migration without any exception if you are not then please focus on it and just read those documents and go for the migration document and also i will be conducting migration training in april, april so where we will be doing the live migrations for all the database so we will be i will be posting on that later on so next the skills are required as you can see the implementation skill like end to end implementation sizing and also 
how you are going to use those sizing in the sense suppose you want to install for the bo so for bo do you require lumida or not for lumida if you're requiring then what is the sizing requirement for lumida which platform you're going to use it and if you are using it then what should be the heap memory defined for that and what should be the memory defined for the lumida server and for bo what are the users you need to plan for it and how the database is suppose you are going to use sybase so you are going to oracle you are going to use whatever database you are going to use so you should have an idea on those areas otherwise it will be difficult for you so focus on those areas. you cannot learn all this overnight but there are multiple sap kbs are available you can easily read those documents and those documents are simply awesome so you can just read it and also read those guides guys at least in sunday you can spend some time two three hours you can read more than that so next so in this level the salary range it can go up to 24 25 even your ATS of experience you can expect some cases 26 27 28 29 like that also people will pay you easily 28 29 lakhs without any issue you can try for the mncs here because here you can show off your skills because you have already acquired the knowledge so you can just go for the senior consultant or the team lead position or maybe uh, try for the senior position don't join as a junior consultant or not normal consultant how other companies hire don't go with that role and second a very important thing is you should know that you are doing some value addition you are effectively you are somebody on which on i mean on who your company actually depends you create that feasibility create that you know dependency so that will be helping you to grow further so priority you can just you know priority wise you can choose mncs also like you can join infosys the team lead or you can join you know accenture or you can join all you know there are multiple mncs are there where you can also give a try but it's totally depend on you that what you want to explore so based on that you can find the right company but i suggest go for those companies who pays you well and also with considering the you know at least better work environment not like they will be giving you 19 hours of work you cannot do that actually okay so after eight plus years of experience your direction should be changing otherwise you are in a stuck situation so after eight nine years of experience you spend in basis you know the how the things are working and you know here and there so you can just explore the other dimensions of SAP like integration using your BTP how the cloud foundry environment works how the new environment works and how the integration happens in SAP through the SOA manager or if you're running through the ECC or ECC to S4 ECC to your CPI or S4 HANA to CPI so how this integration works so those things you should know so if you have multiple taxation you know integrations you can do that also you have for the PIPO integration so now people are not using the PO systems anymore for the you know process orchestration they just use shifted to PO to CPI so CPI gives you better flexibility but still <coughs> you know everything is its own advantage so you can go through that also you can also explore that op open text so how the open text text works and how the open text installation and what is the compatible database for open text and all you can discuss same goes for content server installation administration that is very important and data archiving that is the key these days like if you know data archiving your salary would be super high data archiving with the data migration strategy if you have it then you are the king of this market that is for sure so if you know this it's fine if you don't know just focus on these areas and then you can go for the cloud migration and you can just understand aws gcp or azure alibaba so all these things and at this level you can also focus for itil you know the high level certifications or you can also do the pmp certification that will help you for you know being a manager because after this 10 years experience you don't expect you to be just a consultant you need to upgrade yourself you need to try to you know grow vertically which will do the value addition so for my suggestion is do the certification so that will be helping you to be at least success manager a customer success manager you can be also a technical manager you can also a service manager so based on the organizations they have different different level so you can try for that but explore the integration area that is mandatory that is very very important because btp now they provide a lot of flexibility and you can integrate anything with the btp using the BTP you can integrate anything to the system like even for your Shopify even for your payment uh, gateways and also your multiple things they are adding these days you can simply create a you know free a trial account on BTP and explore these areas and salary in this range is like uh, 8 plus to 15 years you can expect if you have 15 years of experience you can easily get uh, you know like 30, 40 lakhs around you will be easily getting it but even in 8 years of experience you cannot expect 40 lakhs of course so unless you are a very super achiever then people will pay you that much but considering the normal situation you can expect 24 25 and if exceptionally you are done well in interview then they can go up to 30 okay so that is more or less on these areas and now coming back to the topic that if basis is dead no guys there is no such thing called basis is going to be dead the only thing is 
you need to keep yourself little bit upgrade not too much but with the time you need to also switch to your directions to integrations and you know other platforms like your btp open text and you should be a multi you know like your approach should be like multi technology i mean in the basis itself so it's not like everything will be automated it's okay a lot of people say that don't care just work i assure you that nothing going to be changed immediately it sap is a very stable organization and their product are also so time to time you just upgrade yourself learn hana learn s4 hana and all these things but this cannot be complete it cannot be completely automated guys even no matter what they try and what it will happen so you are not going to lose your job soon so just focus on that and also parallelly learn it and always focus on the solution approach so that will help you to you know be a better consultant and best better uh, you know in the sap basis in hana area so if you have any further questions you can simply put your question in the chat uh, you can put any question in the comment section so i will be just answer your questions on that but only the non technical questions don't ask me the technical questions my i want to upgrade this component how to do this i'm not here to give the free consultation of course so sometimes yes okay but no not those kind of things suppose you want to upgrade a component that requires a lot of things to analyze i cannot just give that free of course if you're looking for one on one session you can also book in the top mat and in top mat also i am adding lot of documents you can also download or, i mean you can buy those documents with very minimum amount the ranges would be in from 99 to 399 499 you can just more than that you can just pay and you can download it okay so and also i will be keeping a segment for the free documents where you can download the documents free of cost if you don't want to pay anything then you can also download those but those are only the sap standardized adm documents they are not the document to sell or buy okay so that is all guys so if, thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any further questions you can connect with me so thank you and have a great day